You know what? I don't care that they were 9-1-1 one, one in their last 11 games. I'm not wearing a Leaf jersey for this video. I don't think they deserve it. Dude, you can't just not wear your Leaf jersey in an LFR video. That's brutal. I can't wear a different jersey. You're wearing a Mississauga Steelheads jersey. It's blue and white. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. You know, I'm moving to Oshawa soon. I think that means I have to watch the Generals now. The Generals don't have a shiny fish logo, Steve. They're an inferior team. Ah! Whoa! You serious? <laughs> Mind blown. I need idea. I'm dumb. Deli hard. Can we get to the game, please. Ah! The Leafs lose 4-1 to the Florida Panthers. I feel weird not doing a fist pump at the beginning of this video. Cause I got spoiled. We all got spoiled. Getting used to the Leafs winning all the time. Well this game ought to show us. It's okay, Olympic hockey starts in like a week. The Leafs get outshot 48 to 21. I just want to emphasize 48 to 21. This was a team that just did not come ready. For a variety of reasons I'm sure. Hey. It's the dad's trip. I'm distracted by all the dads. I figured all the players would want to impress their dads. Uh, they didn't. Peter Holland's still out. Carter Ashton's still out. JVR's just coming back from the flu. They just got David Clarkson back. So it's a screwy lineup. But the Leafs have been dealing with a screwy lineup for a long time. It's not a very good excuse. Phaneuf got hurt, uh, did return, but was obviously probably banged up. But is that why you yard sale a whole game? Like I said, the Leafs were outshot 48 to 21 on the game, 37 to 12 after two. It cannot be overstated how amazing Jonathan Bernier was and how much of a chance he gave the Leafs to win. And I talked about it a lot last year with Reimer, not so much this year because the Leafs have just been so reliant on goaltending that it's been obvious and there hasn't been a point saying it, but the goalie has one job. And you might be saying, is that stop puck, Steve? Technically right, that's not what I was gonna say. Shut up. To give their team a chance to win. Why am I doing this like I'm running for president? The Leafs were losing 1-0 after the second period. 1-0. Outshot 37-12. Leafs got outshot 19-4 in the first. It's a Christmas miracle they weren't out of the game then. Lone goal scorer for the Leafs, of course, David Clarkson. I've ragged on him. Leafs have ragged on him all season, and rightfully so. He's just not performing. But he has also faced his adversity here in Toronto and had some injuries lately. But sometimes the punchline is irresistible. But screw it. Contract or not, whether or not I disagree with it, I'm throwing my hat in. I am on Team Clarkson. I want this guy to succeed so bad. And I kind of feel like just as big of a sin as wasting Jonathan Bernier's amazing game they wasted a David Clarkson goal. Not counting the games while he was injured, that snapped a nine game pointless streak for Clarkson and a 10 game goalless streak. Hell, that goal tied Clarkson in points with Trevor Smith and Paul Ranger. Clarkson hasn't scored in a Leafs win since a 2-1 shootout win against Washington on November 23rd. Am I saying this out of criticism? No, I'm saying it because I want him to succeed. Imagine if that goal sparked the team. That goal cut the lead to 2-1. Some guys go, yeah, you you know what, if he can do it, we can do it too, and raw! And then maybe, maybe his season changes a little bit. Maybe that's just me being a naive, head in the clouds, dreams of, of grandeur Leaf fan. But I can't help it! But you know what, all season when the Leafs have been winning, I've been saying, you know what, they're still getting outshot and they can't be doing this, and raw, raw, raw. It's time for Captain Positive Mode. They were 9-1-1 one, and one in their 11 games before this. Even after this loss, they're 9-2-1. I ain't mad at that, but it's gotta be a little a little concerning that they went on that crazy hot streak and they're still only in a wild card spot. So let me end with a couple things to check out that will make you happy. First, a trip down memory lane. The Leafs are 9-2-1 in their last 12 games. Let me tell you of a time where the Leafs went 9-1-2 in 12 games. Some of you may remember this, some of you may be a little hazy, so I take you right through it. It's called the JSO Ban Run of 2006. I went back in time and analyzed every game from the streak. For example, here's the first game. March 26, 2006. The Leafs took a 3-1 lead into the third period thanks to a Matt Sundin slapper. After Scott Gomez cut the lead to one in the third, Matt Stajan scored, assisted by Aki Berg, to, res to restore the Leafs' two-goal lead. That would prove to be the eventual game winner as Patrick Eliage's power play goal was not enough. Buddy, that was time ago. Check out the post, I will link to it below. It also includes Matt Sundin's six point game. Kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this was one of the greatest offensive performances any Leaf has had in my entire life. Put the team on his back, dude. And of course, brand new 
Panicle Pizza, Steve Dangle Podcast. You are very, very not going to want to miss this one. First of all, we did a full Olympic preview. That is worth the price of admission on itself. But by the way, the price of admission is free. So we go through all the men's Olympic hockey teams. And then after that, we do the highly anticipated sequel of Love You Dangler. If you don't know what that is, oh, you gonna learn today. The link for those shenanigans down below. That's it for this one. Hopefully the Leafs have a better effort next time. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Or if you always wait for me to post it on Twitter. I had some people go, where's the video? And it's been up for hours already. You just didn't know because you're not subscribed to me. So do that and I will see you next time.